Terry and Princess Dawn are lost on the plains of Mirage, while trying to get away from the villain Grump, who has been pursuing them to keep them from finding the crystal key that he has hidden in the cave of Whispering Orchids. Faster, you lead-footed critter! If you hadn't gone and sprained your ding-dang wing loop in the loop, we could have caught him by now. Don't drag your heels, get a move on! We've got to stop. There's a big rock blocking the road. No, don't stop. It's merely an illusion. Keep going. If you say so. Well, I'll be darned. Yeah! Rock in the road! Whoa! Whoa! Well, that'll take care of Grump for a while. Watch out, Terry. We're going downhill. Gee whiz, I can't slow it down. Put on the brakes. Terry, please, the brakes. What brakes? I just burned them out. We're going to crash. That was very brave of Vip. Is anything wrong? Oh, no. We're getting along just fine. Outside of three flat tires and a burned-out brake shoe. Dear me, we can't stop now. Not with Grump right behind us. When I get my kingdom back, you shall be knighted. Hold it, Pip. To winding road. A winding road? It's simple. The winding road will take us where we want to go. By the simple process of winding itself out at one end and winding itself up at the other. Now climb on, Terry. We're ready. What a remarkable road! Indeed, it is. Uh-oh, what about that lake? A winding road is waterproof. Boy, that's nothing like the winding roads they have back where I come from. They're going to drag and stop loitering! Yeah! <coughs> Pay no attention to that lake, you lummox. It's another of them there mirages. Get going! Yeah! Any stupid lizard that can't tell a lake from a mirage is useless. <laughs> Thanks for drying me. We're approaching the city. There's a sign ahead. Welcome to Shoe Cargo. What an odd name. Why, there's nothing but shoe boxes. Piles of them. Look, the house numbers are marked like shoe sizes. There's a box of horseshoes. <laughs> there's a box of lady slippers. Wow, there's a box of Texas boots. Howdy, partner. Look at those shoe trees growing in the park. I wonder if they have any that would fit me. Hey, we're not moving. We reached the end of the winding road. Hey, you were there. You can't park here in the middle of the square. Oh, ma'am. I like my partner says you can't park in the middle of the square. Uh, you're blocking traffic, ma'am. Those, those shoes are talking to us. I never talked to shoes before. Well, you ought to try it sometime. You might get a kick out of it. And that's a fact, son. Now look here, my good men, or shoes, or whatever you are. You see, the reason why we can't move is that we burned out a... Uh... We burned out a brake shoe. You don't happen to know where we can get a new one, do you? If it's a shoe you want, you've come to the right place. Oh, that's a fact, ma'am. I'll have to call for the tow truck. <whistles> It'll take a while to fix, you realize. Maybe while we're here, we could find out which way to go to reach the cave of the Whispering Orchids. Yes, it's very important that we find it. The only one authorized to give out information like that is the mayor. Oh, ma'am, uh, follow us. Watch it, Pally. Here come the flat feet. Let's scram. Excuse us, ma'am, but we got to chase after that pair of snakers. But how will we find the mayor? Uh, ask anybody. Uh, they've all got tongues. I 
A dance studio. Let's ask in here. One, two, three. 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 One, two. How very graceful. One, two, three, one, I wonder if they'd mind stopping their dance so I could ask them where to find the mayor. One never interrupts an artist when she is practicing her art. It's not true, Boris. Who is this peasant person, Olga? I'm a person of royal blood. So we will talk. Well, I'm looking for the mayor of Chicago. Maybe you can tell me where to find him. Well, if you look on the corner, you might find him. That is where all the loafers are hanging out. Thank you both very much. There's a couple of loafers at the corner. Ooh, ooh, rookie Algernon. Somebody threw away a king-size cigar butt. My, 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 how careless. This time it's your turn to ask. Okay. Uh, excuse me. Oh, why, of course. What did you do? Do you know the mayor? Do I know him? Why, whenever his owner and I go to the opera together, we both sit in the same box. Where's the mayor now? At the moment, I can't say. Well, how about the police station? Police station? Now, why did you have to say that? Them's the two words that always start us running. Here comes someone that might know. Pardon me, sir. Could you give us a little information? I'll give you nothing. Well, you'll never get anything out of him. He's a Scotch brogan, he is. The tightest shoe in town. Oh, dear. And we would so like to find the mayor. Ma'am? You're looking at him. Can I be of service? Yeah! There you are! Mickey Meddler, now I got you! Stop! Oh! What in the dickens is that? Them are my prisoners! Stand aside! Maybe you can make me. It's a pleasure! Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, ooh. Uh, Let's get while the getting is good! Oh, come back here, you ding-danged rascals! Quick, hide behind the bushes. Wait a minute. Better take my horse. <laughs> He'll get you out of town safe. Oh, no, you don't. Here comes Grump. Let's go. Don't let him get away. There's a sign ahead. Danger. Alligator shoes. My, they look ferocious. Hold on. We'll try jumping over them. Don't panic, you stupid dragon. If they can do it, so can we. Yeah! Oh, no! a new brake shoe, and it's all fixed up just dandy. You've certainly been kind to us. We'll always have fond memories of Chicago. You might have, but I don't think the Grump will. Adios, partner. <laughs> Next week, it's door-to-door -door fun when our escape from the Grump takes us to Door City. It's trick-or-treat for the Grump, who doesn't know that behind one of those doors, there's a surprise.